Today, we're going to decode Notion's newest feature, the synced block. This is how the feature works in a nutshell. With every synced block that you go and you copy and sync and paste elsewhere. Within any one of these blocks, when changes are made, every other block will be updated. Let's just get right into how this feature works. Like I showed you in the beginning, we're going forward slash synced. That's going to bring up that sync block feature inside of the menu. This is what is in the block. Now you can also enter down and create more than one block inside of this synced area. This is more text. All block types are compatible with the sync, including the toggle and the checkbox, and also an inline database. So all of this is now within this one synced area. So yes, it's called a synced block, but you can have more than one block inside of it. Let's delete all of this for now. Now, when I go to copy and sync, enter down a couple times, paste it in. Let's do that one more time. Changes made will be made in all blocks. And you can see by this drop down menu here. First, we do have the original block at the top. This will always be the case. And as you add more synced blocks, as you copy and paste more, and inside of more pages, this list will grow. Now, let's see how reactive it is. So if I go forward slash into, which by the way, if you want to change a block quickly, do a different type of block. Go forward slash into and then just type in whatever block you want to turn it into. In this case, let's turn it into a toggle. And you'll notice that whenever I drop down this toggle, all of the other toggles drop down. As well, if I have a checkbox, when I check one box, all of the other boxes are checked. If I were to go and drag one of these blocks into another page and go into this page, when I toggle down this toggle, of course, the original block and any other synced blocks will also toggle down. Now, what if I want to unsync this block? Well, I can go to these three dots at the top right-hand corner, and I can go to unsync. So it won't disappear, but now I can make changes to it without it affecting the original block. These two will still be here and still be synced. Now, if I wanna go and I want to unsync the original, the one up here, it will give us a different prompt one other page will no longer sync with these blocks. Now what you see happen is not only is the original unsynced, but all other blocks synced to it are also unsynced. And again, not deleted. What we get here is just a snapshot of the original block in its latest state. And then I can just go and delete this. Now that we've gotten past sort of the very basics of this block, Let's go in to a different way we can communicate between synced blocks. I have an example page here with some text and a call out at the top. What I want to do is I want to send just this call out block to pages under review, another page in my workspace. There are two quick ways we can do this. The first is by selecting this block, either by clicking on its menu and going command C or by having the cursor inside of the block and pressing escape on your keyboard and then pressing command C to copy the block. Now I'm going to go command P, P as in play, and I'm going to go and find that page called pages under review. And I'm just going to paste that block. There's a new option for pasting now, which is paste and sync. Now if I go back to the example page, it shows me that that block is now the original block. Now remember, when we went to go and copy this block, it was not synced until we pasted it. Another way we can do this, first of all, let's unsync all. Command P, I want to go back to pages under review and delete this. 
Now what I want to do is send it through a backlink. So what I want to say is just the at symbol and then I'm going to look for pages under review. If I click on that link, you'll see that there is a backlink that shows up. If you do not see this in your workspace, just go up to the top right hand corner, go to customize page, and you'll see in backlinks different options here. I think automatically it is show in popover. You can change that to expand it if you'd like. You could even turn it off. Now from this backlink, we can also create a synced block by going right click, copy link, and pasting it inside of the page and selecting paste and sync. Now, if I am reviewing this page, I may want to have the whole page inside of this synced block. I can drag multiple blocks into a synced area, just like that. Go back to pages under review and it will show up here as well. Let's go to the first use case, the navigation bar. This is probably, in my opinion, the best use case for this feature. So let's imagine we're using this navigation bar inside of a public Notion page or a Notion run website. What I want to do is have this navigation with these six pages here in four columns like I have set up. I want this to translate to every header of every web page that I have. And I want it to happen automatically upon creating a template button or creating a template inside of a database. Naturally, I'd want to go to the menu, go to turn into and synced block. Inside of the synced block, our columns do not hold. So there is an easy workaround for this, albeit a little bit annoying. Do keep in mind that this feature right now that I'm filming this is still in beta, so this might change. For right now, a way to get around that is to go forward slash up here at navigation. I'm gonna go forward slash into page. I just wanna create a temporary page. And I'm going to drag and drop all of the navigation links inside of this page. Again, this is temporary. Now what I want to do is replicate what we had before with those four columns and just drag and drop to the side to create a new column. And I want to create four of them. Now if I go back, I'm going to right click on this block, go to turn into and text. I'm going to delete navigation, drag this back to the top here, and I'm going to go forward slash h2 so that I can get that heading again like we had before, navigation. Another trick, if you go forward slash and then color, so gray background, you can change the background of the block you're in. Now what I want to do is put this inside of a template. So what I'm going to do is copy and sync. I'm going to go to this down arrow next to new at the top right hand corner and I'm going to go to new template. Let's call this new essay and just paste that block inside and that's it. Let's create a new database entry, call this essay three. And now we have a button for new essay down here. This is the template we just created. Just click that and the header should appear. Firstly, if you are using this for a public page or a website, Remember that the original block, so this block here, has to be public. So this block here should probably be on your home page that is set to public. Now, if you want a version of this navigation bar inside your back end and you want to be able to manipulate it from there, just make sure it is not the original block. Now, another way we can automate this navigation bar inside of the header of a page is through a template button. So I'm just going to go forward slash template button and basically do the same thing. So inside of this button name, I'm going to call it new website page to keep with the theme. And inside of the template, I can go forward slash page, call this new page and just paste it at the top. 
Now when I go back and I go to create a new website page, it will not only create a new page link, but will direct me right into the page with that new header. And of course, if I go back, that page link will be right underneath of the template button. Let's go to the next use case. I call this one change log snapshot. I have a page here called original. So we're going to put all of this inside of a sync. To do that, I'm just going to highlight the entire page, go to the menu of the first block or really any block will work. Go to turn into and synced block. So at the very bottom here, what I wanna do is create a toggle and I'm gonna call it change log. And here we're gonna record all changes made to this block of text over time. So firstly, what I wanna do is I wanna create a template button like we did before. So I'm gonna go forward slash template button. Let's call this button in this instance, maybe we're writing an essay and say new draft. Now inside of the template, we're gonna do the same thing as before, forward slash page, new draft. Maybe put a number sign at the end. Go back to the original, go to this synced block, copy and sync. Go back to configure template, to that page, and paste it inside and start the first draft. We kind of already wrote the first draft up here, so we can quickly create that one. Let's go to new draft and it will automatically take us to this page and I'm just gonna call it draft one. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to these three dots, go to unsync and we're gonna create that first snapshot. So now we are unsynced with the original. Now if I go back to the original, it is still synced and let's go and create draft two. Draft two. Now I can go ahead and start making these changes from draft one. Let's maybe bold some text so I can see some differences here. Maybe delete this and highlight a little bit here. Okay, now if I go back to the original, you'll see that those changes were made. We have some bold text and some highlighted text. So what the original is showing is basically the most recent update. Now, before moving on to draft three, I wanna just snapshot draft two and go ahead and unsync. Going back to the original, of course it is still synced and still looks like draft two. New draft, let's rename this to draft three and make some changes. Maybe turn this into a callout, new block, and go back to the original, and you'll see that it looks like draft three now. Draft one looks like it did at the beginning, draft two looks like draft two, so on and so forth, you get the idea. Let's go on to the last section of this video where we do a little bit of an experiment. I wanna talk about how we can start nesting these synced blocks into one another and how Notion reacts to that. So first let's go forward slash sync. Let's maybe do a toggle in here, parent toggle and a bullet point inside. So I want to manipulate this without opening the toggle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this block here, come down here and paste it. What I wanna do here is just turn this into a synced block, copy and sync, and I'm gonna replace this original toggle with this new sync. So let's just delete that and then paste. Now I can edit remotely, but only the bullet point. Also, if I hide the toggle, I can still edit. Open the toggle and we see the changes. So there is a limitation to this nested sync. If I go up to the parent block, I won't be able to edit 
this bullet point. I can edit the toggle, but not the bullet point. I can only edit it from here, but I can delete it. So if I just highlight some piece of text and delete, it will be deleted. Let's say I have two blocks. What I can do is highlight one of them and delete it, and it will only highlight that block. So I can kind of edit within this parent. I can't replace text. I can't edit text. So that's kind of how that nested sync works. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments about this new feature. What are you planning to do with it? How are you planning to integrate it into your Notion workspace? I would love to know. With that being said, I'll see you guys the rest of the week on Twitter and next time with a new video. I'll see you then.